Woo. I was actually filming this because I didn't think it would start. Cause Happy days. The reason I'm jumping on here is because there's sheep out. There you go. Well, that is why. Uh, what are you? On the bright side, Barley's starting to suck up a bit of nitrogen there. Kicking on a wee bit. You can see in here they've had a good go at chomping it a bit. This is sweet in here. It'll be absolutely fine. A lot of people actually agree sweet and barley with sheep. Just letting them get through the fence. I want to pressure them through it. Thankfully. Come on. Just sitting up here, don't want to stress them out. Ideal park next to mine for a cup of tea. I've got everything squared up. Good morning, pal. Sit. Good boy. Hey, buddy. That's it, pal. You're all right. There you go, Mr. The crash is growing. I've got one more to tag. She's in there. Nice wee heifer. Oi! Do you mind, pal? That was her. She knocked you over. Everything's tagged and up to date now. Hello, pal. How are you doing, 078? Right, we can get a spreader off now. It's done with for a wee while. I'm needing a tractor that's on the front of it to go and pick up wood chips. Right, a few hundred quid later, I'm not going for wood chips anymore. There is a lorry on its way for wheat, but we've got time to go to wood chips and come back, so. Lorry's just arrived, it was here earlier, and I thought, it's a French lorry, so they're not gonna score too highly on the leaderboard. Kev's just back from yard three, so he was doing a wee end rig that needed plowed along there, and then he's heading out over there to the sunflower ground to plow it. Guess who just got back today? The wild that boys that had been away. There we go, another lorry of wheat away. And there's another one just on its way, I think. Maybe. There she goes. Now to add them to the lorry leaderboard. Another French. Sweep, nay points. Chat, seven. Faffing, no faff, 10 out of 10. Driving, he gets an eight. There was nothing too difficult, so eight out of 10. 25. Oh, he goes top. He goes top, even without any sweeping. We've got a French at the top of the leaderboard and we've got a French at the very bottom. That's the sunflower ground. If that's what's going to be sunflowers this year. Kev's just made a start to plowing it. He'll not quite get finished that today. Pure radio! <laughs> Lunch time. Come on, in, boy. Come on, and you get. It's a nice picture, that isn't it? There's my Christmas tree. Good to go. Right, we're off. Let's pick up some wood chips. There's an orange digger for digging holes. Right, Pooch. We're at the wood chip shop. Could do with cleaning my window. Smashing. Just got backs right for a wee spin. Hey, boy, sit. Paw. Good boy, you go. Her hair is hollow gold. Oh. Got to have a bit of patience to get all that bang level. Job done, off home. Right, we're home, we'll get this coped, get it loaded into the hopper. Job is a good one.
One load dumped. I've organised to get another load and I'm just going to leave that load in the trailer because we're not really needing a trailer for anything else at the moment. While I've got it all yoked up, um, I'll get another dump it in the shed and that'll keep us going for, two loads will keep us going for six weeks, just about maybe. Depends how cold it is really. So back we go to the wood chip shop. Back at the wood chip shop, just waiting on the forklift boy coming. Big pile of wood chip. This will be wet stuff I presume. Smashing. Lovely. There's the guy's mowing machine. So that puts the cable in there, the fiber optic cable. Same as the big machines that put in drainage lines, but putting in much smaller pipe, which doesn't need to be surrounded by gravel. Just that much pipe under the soil, job done. Home again. I'm gonna chuck this trailer into here, just leave all the chip in the trailer. Whack it there, that'll do. Job done. Should be able to squeeze in there to the oats if we need to. Just. Just checking whether I hit this pallet. I don't think I did. Wasn't far away if I was gonna. No, I didn't hit it. Need to go and put the first load of wood chips, which is lying out there on the concrete, into the hopper. The hopper's relatively empty, but the wood chips outside so it can get damp. It's not due to rain, but even the dampness at night would wet it. Clutter bang wallop. Let's see what's in here. Uh, it's not too bad, but it should take most of what I've tipped. What you got, boy? Flipping pine cone. Pure radio. Kev's just chucking some new metal on the plow as well as turning the points around and that'll finish off um, any plowing that's left to do. Look at that for a day, look at that. Absolutely brilliant. There's the moon. Mind the roof. <laughs> ah, well, that's been hit a couple of times. Genuinely, I think only two of those are mine. I would own up to it if it was all me, but I do think only two Maybe even only one of those things have been mine. Right, okay, today was three. Three times. But honestly, genuinely, only three. Job done. Here's your guy's mowing machine. So much like the drainage machine, it's the exact same job. It's just handling smaller, smaller pipe and there's no need to get gravel in about it. You got the big blade on the back here. They set this blade into the soil, they can vary the depth. I'm not sure exactly how deep it can go, but they sink that down. The cable comes in the top here, runs through the channel, comes out the bottom. And as you're driving, it leaves the cable under the ground. Vermeer machine. I've actually never heard of a Vermeer. Never in my life. Anyway, that's it. They put the drums on the front, which the bull's already been scratching against that. They've left it here for the weekend. Bull's over there, Highlanders are over there, so that's probably gonna be destroyed by the time they get back. They've also got a smashed window over there. Done up with cling thumb. <laughs> front and rear steer, four tracks. It's quite a smart machine. If someone can tell me what the hydraulics are doing into here, because there's a pivot point there and there, there's a ram on the far side, 
there's the ram, so they can pivot this piece around those two pivot points to change the angle at angle. But what's all the hydraulics in there for? I can't figure it out. I don't know, is it some sort of like reset for this? No, I've no idea. I, I just cannot figure that out at all. I have no idea what the hydraulics are doing in here. The only thing I can come up with is that's just an oil tank and they run the oil to the rest of the hydraulics. I don't know, I don't know, I'm confused. Someone will know, put it down below. Am I being thick as mince? They attempted to pecker their way below this road. Their pecker went wonky and they've come up here and they made a right mess. So they're gonna trench it on Monday and they're gonna reinstate it. I've kind of been keeping on top of these guys because they're not people we've ever dealt with before. Like normally people who are coming in to do stuff, we've done a lot of work with in the past. We're giving them good business or, and they're gonna be getting business in the future. It's in their interest to do a good job. These guys, they're just chucking in cable. They're getting paid by the government and then they're off. So I'm just keeping an eye on the, the way things are going. They seem to be doing a fine job. They've cut a few corners out in the field with that mowing machine. So I've said to them, they'll need to trench them right into the corners so they're not cutting across the field and making sure they're all deep enough. Other than that, they've and the peck are going wonky, but they said the ground was really hard. I'll see you tomorrow. If you're not already, subscribe. Subscribe. Thank you. It costs you nothing, it helps me exponentially. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Anyway, I'm going home. What a sunset, what a day belter.